Hi Sag, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick read for you guys. All right. It's always a blessing to have you back here. If you're new here, welcome Sag. And if you're returning, welcome back. Um, I'm going to get into a prayer because we do pray here on the channel. Tap into your energy and we're going to pull in your messages. See what angels wants you to know right now. Okay. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you. Ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body is the best of giving me the right words and also giving me the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. So, Satch, just know that this reading is a general and not a personal. With that being said, it may resonate and then again, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. Cross watchers are welcome to be a part of this read. Um, same applies to you guys as well. Don't force your read. It is not meant to be forced. Okay, you guys, if you are interested in having a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I have provided for you guys, and that will be um, in the description of this video, okay? All right, so I already have an angel here that I had salmon earlier. I'm going to take this angel with me throughout all these reads that I'm about to do for the rest of today, all right? The angels of power. All right, and what's the message, please, for Sag, angels of power? What is the message for Sag? What's the message for my Sagittarius? What's the message for my Sagittarius, please? Okay, Sag, I'm hearing meeting the family, meeting the family. Things are getting serious. I feel like for some of you, you're either, um, for some of you might have just met someone, okay, where you're either figuring out if, like, with the holiday season really fast approaching and already, for some of you already have hit, I really feel like you're, you have either met this person's family or this is what you really want. Someone is about to take things more serious. This person wants to maybe show you that they really do care about you, that they want you to be their happy ever after. This is how you see the situation. Or for some of you, you know, you're just either feeling like this person may have you in the friend zone, just friends, platonic type of a friendship, but want more, okay? This is how I'm seeing a situation is... Is like you're either having someone either choose if listen if they if you want to be serious, let's be a life partner. Someone wants commitment. Someone wants to feel committed here. I wanted to, to do a life situation with you. I want to be with you as your life partner. Someone either is wants to be married if you're not, or someone just wants this person to show them that they are committed to this connection. Um, but then why do I feel like there's someone or something? Maybe this person is just not ready to commit all the way through. Uh, let's see what's happening here, Sag. Uh, what's the message? Angels of power. What's the message, please? Clarify for my Sag, please. Did you have some clarity here, please, on these messages? Hmm. Maybe this person is just always saying, yeah, I'm going to let you meet my friends and family, but it never happens. Some of you may be even getting tired of this, waiting for this commitment, life partnership type of thing. Maybe this person gave you a promissory ring or who the hell knows. All right, let's clarify this and see what's going on with your situation. Again, take it how it resonates with you because it will not resonate for all of you, okay? What's the message here? Please clarify. Tapping into the energy of Sag and all those that are connected to such. Okay. Okay. So there's definitely an emperor that's coming through, all right? This emperor is pulling in the, the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so I'm hearing the major arcana here. This emperor really wants to be with you. This person really wants to build some kind of a balance or something. This person really has your life in order, but this person is very careful um, of... Um, and just know that the roles could be reversed. This could also be you. But if it's not you and if it's who's connected to you, this person is really um, serious about how their life journey is. Okay? They make plans. They, this person makes plans for how they want their life to fall. 
as far as stability, as far as balance, as far as family, as far as friends. They're very uh, family orientated. Um, this person wants to have it all. Okay, they want to be happy, very spiritual, very loving, very giving, all about um, giving and helping others. This emperor is willing to, to love, and this emperor is willing to love hard. However, the emperor energy pulled through the eight of cups, okay? Now, the eight of cups speaks about a situation where someone is going to either make a decision to move forward into something better, or someone is either planning on moving away. Moving away from a situation or making a choice and walking away from this emperor. Even though this emperor has their all their shit in order, someone is still feeling like this person needs to make a decision as far as meeting families, giving me the commitment, putting a ring on it, do whatever. Someone is still feeling like, all right, I really love you and you're, you're the perfect person for me, but why is it that I'm not getting this commitment? Someone is about to walk... Wait, someone wants to make a choice and walk away from a situation. Please clarify the Emperor here and the Eight of Cups. Please clarify the Emperor and the Eight of Cups. For Sag, please. And all those, all those that are connected to such. Okay. Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. there's a lot of swords here, though, that's showing up. Um, in the back of the deck, what you didn't see is a nine of swords, okay? Now, this emperor wants to take it very, very slow as far as giving you a commitment, giving a commitment. Yes, they do care, and yes, they do love. However, they want to take it nice and slow. This person might have had a, either been hurt in the past or this could be you. We have the nine of that we have the eight of swords here. That really it's validates that this person is either feeling very stuck or trapped in whatever it is, whatever is going on here. Someone feels like they need to be set free. Um, but setting free is also a feeling or an emotion that someone is feeling very um either doubtful or hurt or whatever is going on with this ten of swords. But something wants to come to an end. Whatever is happening here. It is not making a situation flow. This person is just very fearful. They're filled with fear to move forward. Okay? There's a lot of fear that's coming. And this emperor is scared out of their wit. And it's only because they have been hurt in the past. There was a lot of hurt. There was a lot of rejection here. Yep. They was definitely in a situation where they had met someone, loved someone, gave someone their all, and someone kind of... They kind of felt slapped in the face, okay? This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm hearing. Uh, someone just was lost here. Someone didn't know what happened. Still trying to heal from this past pain here with this empress here. It was just not on the emperor um, level. But I do feel like um, this person, you know, does love you. This person does want you to wait just a little longer here. I feel like this person is willing to fight for the relationship even though it seems like it right, like it's not happening right now, but I do feel like um, this person is willing to kind of give you what you wanted, but this is not a situation that you want to force because I do see this person moving forward anyway, even though they may have your best interests at heart, even though they know how you feel, even though this person loves you, but this person will not want to be forced into doing something that they may regret later. Clarify this two of wands, please, because there's a lot of fear that's coming through. Okay. For some of you, you're feeling very embarrassed right now. Maybe you told a lot of people or oh, whatever is going on that this person was either going to do something serious or make some kind of a commitment that didn't work. All right, the, the five of cups in the reverse and the three of wands. Something must have been blocked because, again, someone is not ready. Okay? They feel very pressured and overwhelmed by being pressured. And this is a very good person because the energy is also coming through as a king of pentacles. They are very... Um, 
loving and stable, but as far as giving a commitment right now, I feel like that is a hole. This person is just not ready. Period, point blank. This is not something that you want. You see, they don't want to jump into anything. They don't want to make a mistake and jump into anything and deal with a major arcana once again. Because they made a decision before that made them feel like they were the zero instead of a hero, okay? Um, and they suffered tragically. Um, the four swords in the reverse. They suffered tragically. This person is still healing. They're still healing. They're probably going through some situations still with the past person. They just, they're just not ready. I don't say not to force anything, okay? All right, this is going to be your read set. I hope that it did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And also, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. See if I leave in your initials down below. Pray for me as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.